What's up, SBM gang? I'm back with another wig review, and it's really no shade. Shout out to Icy Hair for sending me a bust down, a bust down. They sent me the Danny Phantom bust down, the She Go bust down, and it's just giving. I love this color wig from Icy Hair, and I just knew I had to call Zari to come put this wig on and get slayed. My girl Zari is never scared of color. I don't know what it is, but if it's the color, she gonna rock it, and it's really no shade. We styled this hair in the middle part, bust down. I was gonna try to add like a fishtail to it, but it just wasn't giving what I needed it to give so we left it out of bus down and called it a day. We love a wig that fits. This wig was a perfect fit on my girl Zari No Shade. All I had to do was cut off the tabs on the side and this wig laid flush and it's really no shade. You definitely want to make sure you cut off all that extra lace so your frontal can lay flush. Skin protecting is the most important part of an install. Your glue will not last as long if you don't use skin protecting. You have to properly clean your skin with witch hazel, makeup removers, marcella water, not alcohol, and then go on with your skin protecting. That's how you prep for adhesive. It's really no shade. I'm going in with my boho lace tape as well. Y'all know I love my lace tape because it just really helps this wig last an extra week or two or three. You never know. That tape is really, really strong. For today's slay, I'm going in with my Boho Lemon Burst by Alonzo Arnold. This is one of my favorite glues. It smells so good. My clients always love it. I never have to worry about their skin being irritated. This glue is the truth. I personally like to go in with two to four layers. You don't really need more or less than that to really get a good lock in, especially if you're using tape. You really can get away with two or three layers at most. But as long as you're applying this adhesive, thin and evenly and flat and making sure all that glue dries clear before you apply your lace, you're Gucci and you're ready to go. So do y'all see how it's real white right now? And as I talk, it gradually gets clearer and clearer and clearer. That's because I spread that glue thin and evenly. I didn't leave any lumps or clumps of glue in one spot. You have to apply it and spread it like butter on toast. And look at it, it's getting even more clearer. It's no safe, but yes, once that's clear, you go in and you apply your lace and you proceed to melt.
But can we talk about the scalp though? Usually when I get colored wigs that's mixed with black, they usually dye the blonde black. And those type of wigs you can't really slay because you can't bleach the knots because the wig is already 613. But only the parts that are colored are 613 on this wig. The rest of this wig is raw human hair and I bleached these knots and it definitely gave me scalpy vibes. I love this wig from IC. When I'm dealing with longer wigs, I typically like to use my thicker flat irons because I just feel like it gets a more pressed look for long hair. No shade. Y'all always ask me where I got this comb from. I got it from Amazon. It's called a V-comb. And I also see it in my hair stores. So I know if it's in my hair stores in Tampa, then it's in y'all hair stores, whatever city y'all at. Just look for a V-comb. The pencil flat iron is always my favorite when it's time to curl baby hairs because curled baby hairs are just easier to lay and it's no shade. <laughs> my formula for today is got to be spray and a comb. I know I be saying I love using mousse, I love using mousse, but today I was using got to be spray. I think I just like using got to be spray on Zari, like I don't know what it is, but it just always works on her. No shade. And once those baby hairs are done, I just go and do my final touches with my hot comb. And that's pretty much the final look. Shout out to Icy Hair for sending me a buzz down. This was my first time working with this company and I'm definitely impressed. 10 out of 10. When you're dealing with colored hair, the wigs are liable to be lower quality. But that was not the case with this company. So shout out to them. Make sure y'all go follow my girl Zari on all of her socials. Her info will be in the description box below. Shout out to my SBM gang. We almost at 6K. Make sure y'all keep liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, telling your homegirls to subscribe. Support the movement. The podcast is coming. So we got to stick to it. Bye, y'all.